Hold it. Before we begin, I must share this with you. Some exciting news. Set your calendars tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern. You will want to be watching my friend Carl's amazing show called Cities of Success, Denver and Boulder. It's fabulous. You will not want to miss it. And now it is time. It's time for the lightning round. Hold on, I've never seen this. Bye, bye, bye. So we can play this out. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Dang, time for the lightning round. Here's my episode with John Arizona. John! Hi, Jim. I love your show. Oh, thank you. I own Champion. I own Champion X. And this number day has offered $8 billion in a stock trade to the shareholders. Is that a good deal for stock Champion X shareholders on some summer day? Oh, what's the stock? SLB. Oh, yeah, they changed the name. All right, so, John, listen, uh, this is actually funny you mentioned because this is a stock that literally Jeff Marks and I talked about today. I said, look, maybe we need more oil exposure. Maybe it's Devin. Maybe it's SLB. They've run a lot. We want to wait till they pull it, but I think it's a really great company. Let's go to Jeffrey in Massachusetts. Jeffrey. Good evening, Jim. How are you doing? I am doing well, Jeffrey. How about you? Not too bad. On the recent news of a massive cybersecurity breach and the recent share buyback, is Marine Max a buy, sell, or hold? No, um, you know, I just think it's just too risky right here. I know the multiple's really low, but I just don't like that sector of the market at this moment. Let's go to Connor in Massachusetts. Connor. Booyah, Jim. First, I want to thank you and my dad for teaching me investing. So a big thank you for that. Oh, terrific. Terrific. What's going on? I want to know your thoughts on Peabody Energy, ticker symbol BTU. Uh, no, I'm not a coal guy. I know coal is up. A lot of that is just to do with just different flows from overseas. But I do not want to own BTU, and I think it should be sold. Let's go to Dave in Illinois. Dave. Dr. Kramer, my S&P oscillator watching friend. How are you? I am good, David, and I'm thrilled to hear from you. What's happening? Jim, this $43 billion dollar S&P 500 component operates a cloud-based platform to assist customers with their digital advertising. The trade desk has outperformed the market both this year and the last 12 months. Jim, your take on TDD. Uh, I have to tell you, I like Jeff Green, and I want to tell you that I think that the Justice Department's case against uh, Google is actually hurt by how effective Jeff Green is because he's such a great alternative to using the auction system of Google. So I think Trade Desk is great. Once again, Dave brings us some terrific stocks. Let's go to Donna in New York. Donna. Oh, yeah, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Jim, I'd, like, I'd like to know what you think about the bioformer company, Geron or Geron. Oh, Jerry, yeah, uh, just OK. I mean, we've got so many great biotechs these days. I mean, let's stick with the really good ones. Don't care about excitement, care about like something like a Vertex. I've made a good acquisition. Let's go to Stan in New Jersey. Stan. Hi, Jim. How are you? I am good, Stan. How are you doing? Pretty good. Thank you. I'm looking to see what do you think of Archer Aviation? No, no, we don't need a vertical takeoff play right now. It's losing a lot of money. It's just too speculative for me. How about we go to Allen in Florida? Allen. Jimmy Chill, I need you to stop for a minute so that I can thank you and your team for the Investor Club. It's the most entertaining way to learn how to make money. You like those late the ones that we've been sending out till I wake up in the morning? We have been working around the clock. Thank you so much. Trying it's to send as much as we can and impart as much knowledge as we can. How can I help you? You know, Jimmy, the AI revolution, it's huge. It's growing exponentially. But there is a concern that it may stall because there's not enough clean, reliable energy to power this revolution. This is why Amazon just paid $650 million dollars for a nuclear-powered data center in Pennsylvania. Uranium demand is booming, and there's no easy supply coming anytime soon. Bank of America just said there's a supply deficit until 2029, and Goldman Sachs seems to agree. When the Russian uranium ban goes into play, domestic uranium will be critical and premium, and that should benefit the stock you gave us home gamers when it was in the twos. And which uranium one? Uranium Energy Corp. Oh, I, you know, I like that stock. Uh, now, I have to tell you, it is speculative, but it's not, it's not improbable. And I think that you're right. 2030 is when we're going to start getting the new ones to come online. You need that company. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. 
Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.